Today I'm going to show you how to shorten a music track in DaVinci Resolve 18 without just blindly chopping it in half because, I mean, that's just lazy editing, right? So, you all know that music is super important, right? It's like the foundation for a good video. But don't you just hate it when your video is 20 or 30 seconds long, but the epic music track that you've picked is 2 or 3 minutes long. And you don't have time to go look for another song because you have a deadline and... Yeah, I'm getting horrible editing flashbacks right now. So, let me show you a few ways to shorten a song in DaVinci Resolve 18. Four techniques that I want to show you. The first one, the lazy one, just cut your music track where the video ends, then right click and let the music fade out. And that's it. And you can make the fade out a little bit longer or shorter. And, you know, depending on the video and the music track, this might sound just fine. But more often than not, it will sound... I don't know, unfinished, you know what I mean? So let me show you a slight variation on the first technique, the lazy technique, the lazy 2.0. And I really like the lazy 2.0, not because I'm lazy, I am sometimes, but because it sounds very powerful. If you use this technique for the right kind of video, it works, it really works. So, like I said, it's basically the same as the first technique, but instead of fading out the music, Make a hard cut on a beat, for example, or any other powerful moment in the music. And the video, you also hard cut to black or to a logo, for example. So first find the perfect moment in the music to stop, and then edit your video in a way that it matches that hard cut in the music. And what I like to do sometimes, on top of that, to make it sound even more powerful, I did this at the end of my rum commercial, so a hard cut of the music and the video, but then I also added a gunshot or a cannon shot. Here it is. And you can use this technique for all kinds of videos, not just pirate themed, you know? You could also add a sound effect of a thunderclap, for example, or... See what I did there? So, you know, there's like a lot of possibilities. Use whatever sound effect to make that hard stop even more powerful. Okay, but what if you want to use the beginning and the ending of a two minute song for your 20 second video? Well, two techniques I have for you. Two techniques that I like to use. The first one, use the hard cut technique that I just showed you, or maybe even the fade out technique to create a moment of relaxation or contrast in your video. I did that in my Mac Studio commercial. So pay attention to when the camera goes up. That's where I stop the music for a moment of, yeah, contrast. Right when the, the voice goes, ah, wow, horrible. <laughs> And then when the music starts again, it's actually the end of the song. And so that's how you can make a song the same length as your video without having to paste two parts together. Because that's not always easy. And to make it sound even better, for the final video, instead of dead silence when the music stops, I added another part of the song, a more quiet part that I took from somewhere in the middle. And then it sounds like this. <laughs> But of course, you can't always use this technique. Sometimes you're just gonna have to cut out the middle of a song and then paste the beginning and the end together in a way that the two ends, the beginning and the end, match up. So all you have to do then basically is cut the song somewhere, obviously, and then at the end also somewhere, then delete the middle part and then put those two parts together. Now let's listen. that doesn't sound right, so the difficult part now is to listen to the song and locate an ending for the first part and a beginning for the second part so that both parts match up. So that it sounds like nothing was cut from in between, you know what I mean? But once you have it, once you've found that moment, all you need to do is drop on a short crossfade and you're done. and no one will ever know that you cut out a part of the music. And I'll give you a bonus tip. 
always pay attention to parts in the music that repeat. Because usually, if a part repeats in a song, it repeats an even amount of times. Two, four, six, you know? So always make sure if you cut somewhere in the music that you do it on an, an even repetition. Does that make sense? Not on three or seven. Because then if people hear it, they're used to a song that it changes at an even repetition. Wow, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm already lost in my own thoughts, but I hope you're still with me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Even repetitions. That's where you meet, need to make the cut. It's a matter of training your ears musically, you know? Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.